I visited with the two children. Uh, the young boy, I know his brother from a time I gave him a bicycle on as a back-to-school effort. I know the grandmother uh, who works at the Walmart in Pullman. I've been with the, them before. Unfortunately, the circumstances this time were tragic. An eight-year-old boy shot in the chest and back. His 10-year-old female cousin hit in the shin at a baby shower in West Inglewood Saturday night. Some people just came up and were shooting. And I started running. She's screaming. People across the street are screaming. The little baby boy literally and his mom is putting pressure on his chest from the gunshot wound that he had to his chest. Witnesses say a red Chevy Equinox drove down 64th Street near Sealy, firing into the crowd. As police arrived, they performed CPR on the eight-year-old boy. Paramedics continued life-saving efforts on the way to the hospital. Police say the boy had a collapsed lung. Four adults were also shot. The only way we can we can solve this gun violence is turning in the shooters. That's just simple as that. The babies didn't have nothing to do with whatever was going on over there. Just a probably a gathering over there because the weather is warm. Then we got an idiot discharging a weapon, shooting multiple people. Those at the baby shower arrived at Comer Children's Hospital last night, some covered in blood. Police believe the shooting could have been retaliation related to ongoing gang violence in the neighborhood. Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot tweeting today about the incident, saying she's heartbroken and that no parent should fear their child's safety. We must stop the epidemic of gun violence in our city. Now two kids' lives, even though they're unbelievably resilient, will never be the same. There is no sense of remorse by these gangbangers. There's no sense of accountability by these gangbangers. And for those families, those mothers and fathers and grandparents, that is wrong, and for our children that is wrong, who were just enjoying their childhood. The adults shot range in age from 23 to 42 years old. The most seriously injured was a 29-year-old woman shot in the chest and shoulder taken to Christ Hospital. Begin with that breaking news. At least five people shot tonight in West Englewood. One victim just eight years old. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live outside of Comer Children's Hospital tonight with more on what led to the gunfire and the chaos that followed. Jeremy. And good evening, Jim. Anxious, concerned parents pacing in and outside of the hospital area behind us. Investigators telling us they continue to look for shell casings. They also continue to look for those responsible. Three people are shot after five to six shots were fired. Oh, my God. And I'm scared. Danger and chaos were followed by the sirens of Chicago police at Sealy near 63rd. The sounds included parents yelling. People was crying, mom was crying. Like screaming, like, where's my baby? And they get to shooting, I'm like, oh. Neighbor Malvin Loggers describes the gunfire. I was like, don't, 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 don't. Anybody get shot? Anybody get shot? I'm running, I'm getting behind a car. Yeah, the boy, he got shot and they started pointing at the ground. They holding his chest and I'm like, oh my God. I think it was his mother putting the the pressure on his chest. Police say that eight-year-old boy was one of two children shot in this neighborhood. The other, a 10-year-old girl, at least half a dozen injured by gunfire. You got multiple ambulances en route. Ten shots fired. Caller says a bullet was through her window. A witness says a car stopped outside of a home and began shooting at someone nearby. That person fired back. People reacting to the gunfire also began shooting. A potentially deadly exchange in range of a gathering celebrating family a baby shower it was a baby shower it was a, then that man that just makes it all worse i don't never really expect it to happen to what happened parents can't even organize that baby shower and, and and have to worry about the effects of gun violence hitting their home during the party now police are telling us that that eight and a 10 year old are in stable condition a 29 year old in a separate hospital in critical condition at least three others being treated this evening no one is in custody in connection with this ongoing investigation. Live outside of Children's Hospital, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you.